Hi, this is Rahul Mesqua coming to you live from Keller Williams and Ranch Cucamonga. I wanted to take a minute and share with you guys how I got into real estate. Some of you out there might know it's a pretty interesting story. What happened was that in the mid-90s, my dad retired from being a police officer with LEPD. And he always wanted to strike out and become an entrepreneur. So he started doing flips and he did them on his own. And he, he had some friends that were real estate agents and some friends that were mortgage brokers. And long story short... Uh, he ended up doing quite a lot of flips in the 90s, and I was his helper, and that's how we paid my way to go through college on weekends, breaks, summer vacations. I would help him pour cement, hang drywall, remodel bathrooms, kitchens. It was pretty hard work. Laid a lot of concrete, did a lot of demolition, ate a lot of dirt and dust. And while I was doing that, you would see these other real estate agents that were helping my dad find properties or mortgage lenders that were helping him finance the properties. Um, drive up, nice cars, looking clean, refreshed in suits or nice looking clothes. And I asked my dad, like, hey, who are these guys? <laughs> they, they, they seem like they're part of the transactions that we're doing. And he explained to me how the whole kind of world of transactional real estate worked. And I was a young guy. I was like 19, 20 years old and really didn't understand that at that point. And my dad really did a good job of explaining it to me, which was awesome. So I graduated from college. Um, I got a job working for like a commercial financial institution doing loan workouts which is basically I was helping people in the mid 90s during that recession that were in default with their real estate loans a lot of it was commercial real estate then shortly thereafter my dad had influenced me like hey why don't you you're working hard you're not making a lot of money but you've learned some good fundamentals in finance why don't you go work as a lender and in residential real estate you can probably make pretty good money so I did that and I worked for a firm for a year and I did really, really well. I made more money my first month than I did in six months. Then I got my broker's license about a year, year and a half later. And this is about 1999, 2000. And my dad and I joined forces and we started doing not only just residential real estate, but commercial real estate, land development. And we had a mortgage division and everything was great. And we did a lot of real estate, but we kept it very humble. We kept it very lean and we you know, enjoyed working together. 2006, my dad was smart. I wasn't. He sold a lot of his real estate and um, he cashed out and really hasn't worked a day since. Um, I didn't and that's why I'm talking to you today because I'm still working and I'm still young and I love what I do and now I'm with the Hanover Group at uh, Keller Williams Realty. I'm one of the owners uh, along with Vianney Ojeda who's also my wife and um, basically we have a team that's really unique. It's a two-pronged team that does one side does commercial and the other side does residential. So we can really do a lot um, to help our clients who have investment needs that are business owners and need to buy a building or just every, you know the, the homeowner that we all are or all aspire to be to help first time buyers get in their home to people finding you know their move up home that's a better fit for their kids or is in the school district that they want it to be in. I mean these are all the things that we love doing because it's essentially at the end of the day we love helping people. And that was a great thing that I loved about real estate flashing back to when I was working with my dad is that a lot of the properties that he purchased, he actually held on to and, you know, they turned their rental properties and he was helping a lot of families that were getting turned away from, you know, other, other locations or were living in maybe substandard conditions, giving them a good place to live for a reasonable amount of rent. And that's what was really awesome about the whole experience with working with my father and sort of the fundamentals of how to treat clients and people coming into the business and, you know, and learning that everybody else, that everybody in the industry has a different story. So that's a little tidbit of my story, how I got into real estate. I, I made it really short to keep this video as short as possible. I hope you watched it. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, you can find me on Facebook, Raul Amesqua, R-A-O-U-L-A-M-E-S-C-U-A. And inbox me or put something on my wall. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. And call me with any questions. Thank you. Bye-bye.